What is up guys, Tomcat here, and in this video, we are on the Top Truck Challenge map, and we have come to the, uh, the final obstacle, which is the Tank Trap, because the Tank Trap is the hardest obstacle here, and it's the only one that we haven't completed yet. We've brought two vehicles along. One of them is a Top Truck Challenge purpose-built truck. The other one is the crazy, uh, orange caged YJ that has been around for a long time, but a lot of people really wanted to see how this would do on the top truck, the the top truck challenge map against a properly like a, against a, a truck that was built for top truck challenge. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna run. Actually, we're gonna run it in the top truck challenge truck. Um, it's an F two fifty and it's like it's it's huge. It's freaking massive. So the nice thing about it is the fact that we're already here at the tank trap. We're not you know we're not having to work our way all the way through. Uh, the entire Top Truck Challenge course, where, you know, I mean, I feel like that would have been, that would have been cool, but it would have also taken a really long time, uh, to get out here to the tank trap itself. So, with that being said, how does the Ford do right off the bat? The Ford does really well, uh, does a good job of flexing over everything, does a good job of stuffing these massive tires, it's a little bit taller than the other Top Truck Challenge trucks, so you get a little bit of an advantage there, but at the same time, it's also longer, which makes it more prone to high centering, and it's also larger in general, taller as well, which makes it more top heavy. So you've got some upsides and some downsides uh, to using a really large truck like this uh, in this type of challenge, but at the same time, there's always trade-offs when you build a purpose-built vehicle. So let's do that and then do that again to make sure we have morning. And okay, we're gonna have to find a different line. We're also specifically not using the four-wheel steer version of this truck because the YJ is not four-wheel steer either. Um, but even without the four-wheel steer, it does a really good job of working its way up the hill. That's actually pretty, pretty good. Um, once it grabs traction, it seems to lock itself down on its line and just goes. Now, if we can get... Oh, God, yeah, it does the same thing as pretty much every other truck I've ever taken through here. It walks to its side, and I'm not sure why they all do that. They just all seem to do that, and I don't know why. Yeah, it just they just dig in and walk to their sides, which, again, is really weird, and uh, it's kind of... It's kind of hard to get these trucks lined up in the right spot. But, oh god. You can sort of do it. The only thing is, once you do do it, you're gonna be scraping the wall the whole way. Come on. Come on. This locked. It's actually it's acting like its axles are broken or something. Oh jeez, that's sketchy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and winch to probably just any one of those trees. To, whatever we have to do to pull the front end back down. Now see if we can just walk it right through here. There we go. So far, aside from the few, like, the couple of hang-ups we've had, it's not doing too bad in here. The only thing is this does get, this whole, like, this whole ravine, this whole chute gets tighter. So, it, it's, it definitely is not over yet. You see, we're rubbing up against the roof now. And that's the downside of using such a massive truck for a trail this tight. Getting a little tricky here. Ooh, God, getting real tricky, actually. Really, really rubbing up against the roof and the windshield now. I'm not sure if it can get any further uh, than that without a winch. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the winch cable. Go ahead and give it just a little bit of a tug forward. That lifted up the entire front suspension. That's crazy. God, it pulled it all the way around, too. That's weird. Normally it doesn't, it, it like, normally it won't do that, but that lifted the entire front end of the truck off the ground, like the entire front suspension and everything, it stretched it all the way out, um, and then moved it kind of over to this weird spot, I'm not sure why it did, but let's see, one more winch point, one more time, and that should be all we need, hopefully, but again, like I said, this, this, this section does not end, and in the actual Top Truck Challenge, like, they all have to winch here. They all have to winch at least a few times here. It's, 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 it's not an easy section to do in real life. Not even close. A little bit of left. Oh, that kind of helped. There we go. Sometimes it'll catch traction, too, like, abruptly and lurch forward. Mmm, a little iffy. 
But these, oh my god, these falling rocks generally will... Oh, oh, there we go. Using the rocks for a bit of traction. When they're not rolling, they can be used for traction and they can help out a lot. Or they can, like, run into your tire when they're rolling um, and ruin a run. But actually, that did pretty well in here compared to a lot of the other vehicles I've run through this spot so far. Uh, definitely one of the best out of all the... Uh, out of all the TC TTC trucks that I've run in this section. So next up, we've got a little bit of a mud hole and then a hill directly after it. And this one's pretty deep, if I remember correctly. This one is pretty damn deep. Wow, it's actually not as deep as the other ones. It's definitely not as deep as I thought it was. I'm gonna go up to the left side and then shortly cut back in. There we go. This thing is a hell of a hill climber. I gotta give it that. This thing climbs hills like... Dude, this thing climbs hills like nobody's business. It's it's pretty nuts going up hills. And since it's so massive, it can pretty much keep that air filter out of the uh, out of the water the whole time, which is quite good, considering if you don't want your engine to get hydrolocked. <laughs> whole engine's underwater. The intake's not though. It's good, bro. Kinda. <laughs> All right, gonna try and stay, try and stay as straight as possible. Grab some grip and walk up the hill. Come on, there she goes. Oh yeah. Gotta say, this thing surprises me. It 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 also surprises me as to how that happened. I have no clue how it dropped in, like dropped into that like really small just dip and rotated the entire front end of the truck around. Back into low three. Go ahead and keep crawling. But yeah, this thing really surprised me. It did better than I expected. Did a lot better than I expected it to. And, and, it also did a lot better than I expected it to considering the size. I mean, when you're dealing with a truck this big, you expect there to be some shortcomings due to its size uh, in general. And there were a couple, but definitely not as many as I thought there would be. I'm just curious to see if that YJ, which was not purpose-built for this map, uh, can... Like, I'm, I'm curious to see if it can keep up. Both performance-wise and, you know, just in pace. Because this thing is just rolling. It is really... It's just trucking along, dude. Find our way down the... Ooh, okay, that was a little deep. Power up the other side. Not too bad. Oh, yeah. This last section is tricky. This is, this is where I flipped a bunch of the other vehicles on this map. So we'll have to be careful here. We'll have to be quite careful here, actually. God, does that not look badass from the front? Alright, I'm gonna go up this way to the right. Gonna see if I can kind of walk this edge. Oh, it might work! Oh, dude! That worked way better than I expected it to. Way better. Spinning a little, but not terribly. Not it's not spinning that bad. It's like mm, it's just kind of stuck now. I think this has something to do with a vehicle length thing, and and like also like the the exact length of the vehicle and the exact tire size, and it's like when everything falls into place sometimes, and the vehicle just gets stuck. You know that's that that can happen too. Alright, I'll tell you what, we're going to go ahead and winch the rear up just a little bit to get it past this one spot. Oh god, that didn't work as I thought it would. <laughs> little winch from the front. Ooh, that didn't actually work either. We're going to have to stay in, in the winch longer. There we go, that should be fine to just walk up the rest of the hill now. And so we had to winch the final hill, and we had to winch the really tight section, but that was about all we, like, that was about all we had to winch, uh, was the tight section and the final hill. So overall, this thing did really, really well, um, and definitely did better than the last few trucks I've taken, uh, through the tank trap. Now, we're gonna go ahead and shut the engine down in this truck and grab that YJ and see how it does. I'm expecting it to do well, but I'm not exactly sure overall what, you know, what to expect out of its performance because I've never driven it here. So, across the starting line, dropping right down into the first obstacle. This thing is quite bouncy, so you'll see the driver get swung around a whole bunch, and that's just kind of normal for this vehicle. I, it's, it's just a bouncy Jeep. It really is. It's just a bouncy Jeep, and it, it, it is what it is, and then you kind of have to deal with it. 
Now, it does have really, really, really good grip. I mean, it makes the grip in the F3 or F250 look kind of mild, uh, to be honest. I mean, this thing just, it just walks with its grip. Oh my god. But it also does that same thing where it, you know, it, it, it puts itself on this weird angle coming into this, uh, into this canyon ravine chute section. But it's not doing too badly. Oh my god. This thing is monstering here. You can really tell where the, uh, the much smaller body and much smaller cage really do benefit it because it's not scraping up against the edge. The only thing that's really touching, uh, is the tires, which are at the end of these, uh, these wide axles, these one-ton axles. Well, they don't really look like one-ton axles, but I feel like you would have one-ton axles under a Jeep like this. But, oh my god, we're already way faster than the F-250. Way, way, way quicker through the trail. This thing is a monster! I had no clue it would do this well here. I really did not. I mean, this is almost unfair to the F-250 at this point. The F-250 couldn't, like, even hold a candle to this. Just gonna walk right up the hill. Oh, yeah. No big deal. Got a few more mud holes ahead of us. Couple hills. And then that one final hill, which this thing, so far, I mean, judging by its performance, should have no problem at all with. I mean, it really should just walk right up. I'll be surprised if it does anything besides walk right up the hill. I really... It, ooh, that was a little iffy. It started to get stuck. It started to get kind of like lodged in this weird position, but I mean, it, was, it just powered right on out of it. Hook one tire over the top and then go. I mean, that's the other thing too, is having a YJ with a stretched wheelbase. It's not as long as the F-250, but... But, c when you combine the grip with the stretched wheelbase, it really does a good job. And this is in low three, and it feels like I'm going, like, almost too fast for this trail. Oh god, okay, that's, that's glitchy. That got really glitchy right then. I don't know what was happening, but the jeep started jumping all over the place. Alright, final hill. Dude, it was so fast, it went by like nothing. Crab and grip. This thing grabs grip everywhere. Oh my god! Well, that just decimated that entire challenge. Like, holy crap. I mean, I thought it was going to be good, but I didn't think it was going to be that good. That's that's really good uh, for really anything. I mean, any vehicle, judging by this, like, whatever standards you judge by, that was a really good performance from the YJ. Um, and a solid performance from the Ford as well. So, uh, I think the YJ did amazing here. I think the Ford did really well, too. Um, but I think the Ford is a little big. Although the Ford actually did probably perform more realistically than the YJ, the YJ made short work of this course. So, if you guys enjoyed this test, don't forget to hit that like button. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see all of you awesome guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.